Hello guys, you're watching Go Dot 2 and today we are here for a video. It's 5 past 11 at night and I just thought of a theory, a little thing with Graham and the Cyberman. Um, I was just watching the Who edits and it's basically will the Who will leave first. They did a video on the companions and I just got me thinking. And yeah, so I thought what if Graham's cancer came back? But, so, the Cybermen are upgrading, they're doing their thing, it's the last war or whatever, the last of humanity, and there's a war going on. You know the synopsis that Chris Chibnall made. However, the Cybermen get Graham. They're about to upgrade him, they scan him. He has found out, they say, uh, illness detected or something, and Graham's like, what illness, what illness? Uh, your humans call it cancer and Graham's face the look the shock in his face as it gets revealed and then the Cybermen are grabbing him Graham's frozen he's just like accepting it in a way you know he's accepting death because he knows he's got another struggle to go through um or a son of a scenario, he finds out he's in shock. And then the Cybermen are taunting him by saying, This is why humanity are weak. This is why emotions are bad. This is this, this is that. And we can save you. We will upgrade you. And Graham's considering being upgraded by the Cybermen. Because they've got him. They've got him locked up. And they're about to upgrade him with a load of other humans and stuff. But he's grabbed them. With a chance the Cybermen have. And the Doctor saves the day. Gets Graham out of the way. And then. We have. We could also have Graham as a Cyberman. He's been upgraded. And that's that. The tragic story of him finding out. And just letting the Cybermen take him off. Or. We just have. The Doctor save the day. Get Graham to safety. The Doctor's dealing with the Cybermen. But Graham. Is dealing with his cancer. He's dealing with. The trauma and the, the the shock and thinking how he's going to have to fight this battle again. And it could lead to his demise, which I don't want because he is my favourite character in series 11 and 12. And hopefully for series 13, because I love Bradley Walsh, who doesn't? But yeah, that was just my little theory. I mean, it's a, it's a way the show could go down. It probably won't happen, but it's just a thing that clocked into my head while I was watching a YouTube video and thought, ooh, that's, that's interesting. I want to get my opinion out there. And there it is. That's my little opinion of what will happen in the finale, I guess. Um, I haven't got much fear, theories that much. I've got another video planned for Chris Chibnall doing uh, and Russell T. Davis with Torchwood. Uh, there's a little news report. Thing. I'm just going to uh, say in a couple hours time, I, at the same time I release this, I'll try and release that as well, if not it'll be the day after, but yeah, thank you guys for watching, I've got, I'm going to review episode 8 now, I think it is, yes it's episode 8, so I'm going to be reviewing episode 8 on Sunday, so don't, check, don't forget to check that out, and check out my other videos as well, get that like, comment, rate, subscribe, and I will see you guys for the next video. Yeah, see you guys next time.